Hi Subhas. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. What about you? Tell me. How are you? I'm also doing good. I think this is the first time we are taking meeting, right? Yes, we are meeting yeah. for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So I was going through your uh, previous uh, classes. You've taken about four hundred and two forty-one classes with Clapping Go. Yeah, yeah, more than two hundred. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Very nice. I was like, oh wow. And I was going through the feedbacks, and I've noticed that there's like a lot of progress in the feedbacks that's come also. That's very nice. Okay. So uh, we'll do a quick roundtable. I'll just introduce myself, and then I'll get to know you, and we can take the conversation forward. Okay. Sure. Okay, so my name is Anu. I am from Bangalore. Uh, I have been working with Clapping Go for about four months now. Uh, during my day, I am an IT consultant, and during the night, I like you know take up Clapping Go training because I like meeting new people. That is my main motive behind me, Clapping Go. Can you tell so, me a little bit about you? Okay, so my name is Shwaspal, and I am from Guwahati. It is in the state okay. of Assam, and here okay. I am doing service in a government office. And mm -hmm. my motto is to learn spoken English, so that's why I'm here. The mm -hmm. more I will speak, so I think more I will be able to learn from you, the tutors. So yeah, yeah. So the more you speak, like the more improvement you're able to make to your language, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, does your job include like a lot of traveling and all that? No, no, no. I don't have okay. to travel anywhere. Just sitting <laughs> in one place. <laughs> So, uh, what what are your uh, hobbies? Like, let's keep your job aside. Uh, what are your other hobbies? What are you usually interested in doing during your free time? Uh, nowadays, I have only one hobby: just to watch videos uh, on YouTube and okay. web series on Netflix. So, okay. just to learn English, how to speak, okay. how they deliver the dialogues in English okay. web series. So, all those things I do. Okay. So, which is, is the latest series? Hobby. Yeah, yeah. This which is, is the only thing series you watched on Netflix? Yeah, pardon. Which is the latest uh, web series you watched? Yeah, right now I am watching this one, House of Cards. Oh wow, very nice. Okay. So, uh, what is it that you like about this series? Apart from like the English part of it, there's also like the storyline, right? Do you like the storyline? Okay, I like uh, the thing that. How they these politicians how they manipulate to get their things uh, to be done. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of things we actually don't know, uh, mm -hmm. and how low they can uh, stoop for getting mm -hmm. things done. That mm -hmm. uh, actually, if we don't know and if we don't see, we we don't believe actually those these things may happen. So mm -hmm. yeah, really, and there are so many interesting twists and turns are there. Yes. Okay, very interesting. What is uh, another series? So, if I'm going to ask you which is your favorite series on Netflix, what would it be? Net, uh, another series. Uh, last one I watched was um, um, Emily in Paris. Huh. So, did you like it? That, yes, yes. That also okay. I like. But it's this one fancy. is very much interesting. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like uh, more on the serious note, and Emily in Paris is like a rom com where yeah. she's just traveling yeah. and hanging out in Paris. Right? Yeah. So, um, like, do you watch web series otherwise? Like, apart from just like on Netflix, did you watch Game of Thrones, Suits, any of those? No, no. Recently, I have started uh, watching web series. So only okay. three or four, just I have seen. Okay, so I think I would recommend uh, two series to you. Okay. Suits is one. It's S U I T S. Uh, S U I T S. So it's okay. like completely on the legal front. It's very interesting, mm -hmm. and uh, how to get away with murder. That's also like a very interesting series on Netflix. Both of them are. It involves like a lot of uh, twists and turns, like how you said. So I think you would yeah. like these series. Yeah. Yes, and yes. I like to watch these watch thrillers, it. suspense and thrillers. Yeah. I like. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Then you should watch How to Get Away with Murder, and mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes. Okay. So Sherlock Holmes is like one of the best series that has like ever been made. So you would really enjoy it if you watch it sometime. Okay. So I find it very difficult to follow uh, actually, but uh, when there is uh, subtitles, so I uh, always see the subtitles. Very difficult to follow okay. if I don't uh, see the subtitles. So I always it is the same. The like, 
yeah yeah it is the same for like majority of the people actually because uh, the language of us and uh, like uk and all their english is like very mm-hmm. fast right so yeah. for indians like you know the subtitles part of it is very necessary because very few of them uh, understand without the subtitles even me like i don't i can't like uh, understand like everything quickly without the subtitles mm-hmm. so it's like it's common it's not like anything to yeah and one yeah. thing i like most is that how uh, easily they use these phrases and idioms just while yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's so many idioms and phrases they use so nicely yeah so yeah so it, when when you uh, watch all of this in the series do you uh, implement those idioms and all of that in your language have you tried doing that yeah i try i try I try okay. to do this yeah okay and it's been working out well right yeah Okay. Nice. Good to know. Like, I mean, these are usually like the tips that we tend to give people, asking them to watch uh, Netflix movies and series and read the subtitles. It's nice that yeah. you're doing it already. Do you read books? Yes, and only for this purpose only, as I told you. So <laughs> yeah. I don't have any additional tips to give you because you are already doing everything, and I'm glad that you're doing all that. So, which book are you reading right now? Uh, last one I read uh, that was. I re- recently I read uh, two or three books. Recently, that's uh, Do Epic Shit. Um, mm-hmm. One is um, Atomic Habits. Nice. Another one. Uh, I just forgot another one. Uh, okay, but wrote, Atomic yeah. Habits is like a very good book, right? It helps you to like improve your discipline. No? What is your uh, feedback about that book? Uh, very nice, actually. If you uh, there are so many things uh, when we read so the mindset that we have changes actually mm-hmm. so in, okay we can go we can follow all these things in order to pick up a very good habit we can start yeah. with a small small things yeah. and how to change the habit this is very nicely have written there and, and in order to do one thing on a regular basis say uh if i have to change something uh, mm-hmm. my habit so in a in sense is that that will remind you this a particular object is there so you have to mm-hmm. keep it when uh, near your bed so yeah. the moment you will see it will remind you and you will do so yeah. those small advice mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. help so have you been able to uh, like have you started implementing the changes that is there in the book like is yes, it helping yes, you yes i always yeah. yeah okay okay so um like what is your opinion about exercise opinion is very good uh, uh very high because uh, everybody irrespective of their ages we should do exercise to keep our health in good stead and mm-hmm. i always try to follow though yeah. sometimes i may not uh, do it but yeah i i always like and i like to give advice others to the youngsters they should do exercise okay so do you go walking or do you work out yeah. in regular i go for a walk in the morning for about 40 to 45 minutes i do okay. at home yeah okay right. very nice and uh, apart from guwahati like what are the other places that you have visited Yeah, I visited uh, many places in India. So, what is your opinion about South India? Did you like it? Yeah, it was a very nice experience. Actually, when we reached there, we didn't know that it would be so nice, and <laughs> we never felt that uh, we are in a, as a in a, say in a foreign place. Actually, I mean, in the sense that from our yeah. place to another place. Another so place, when yeah. we went out at night in the middle of the night say at 12 or 1 am uh, I never felt that threatened that 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 something might happen and what incident might have happened no I didn't feel that when okay. I was there. Okay. So if I safe in all the places when you roam the night right? Yeah yeah I felt safe yeah. right okay and what about the food like were you able to adjust to the south indian food yeah in terms of food uh, there is uh, a bit uh, i mean say i was looking for food something with uh, made with say uh, mustard well but uh-huh. i end up eating with sunflower oil. oil 
Yeah. Now, coconut oil and sunflower oil, yeah. yeah. So in South India, that's the concern. Like, so anybody who visits the food concern is with respect to the oil. <laughs> and I, I am fond of fish, so I enjoy fish also. That. Okay. Uh, and you got a chance to visit food. Kerala? Kerala only at this Kovalam beach, not. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. So, um, which is your like most favorite tra travel destination? Yeah, most of the uh, tutors ask me the same question, and my answer is that I don't have any particular place that I would say this is the my favorite because uh, every place has different flavor for. So. Uniqueness. Yeah, uniqueness is there for every place. Say, when I went to a place which has sea beaches. So that is a separate uh, experience. And when we went to places like uh, hill stations, this is another. So I cannot say particularly that this place is very good or yeah. I am fond of no. All of the places that I visited gave me something new and I enjoyed. Myself. That's very nice. That's good to know. So usually people are partial to like one place or the other. It's nice that you don't think any places like, like particularly nice. So, yeah. um, have you visited the Himalayas and all, or the north? North, uh, I Himachal Pradesh, yes, and Himachal Pradesh, okay. then Kashmir. Ah, okay, very nice. I have never gotten a chance to go to that side. I'm still planning, so hopefully it should. Oh, you would love to, particularly if you visit Kashmir, yeah, Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, but how is the costing and all in these places? Is it very expensive or is it like cheap? Like, is it manageable? You see, when I went there, actually, uh, rarely people, uh, I mean, when we went there, it was in 2014. I am talking about Srinagar. Okay, so before we uh, went there, there was a huge uh, flood happened in that place. So people stopped uh, visiting for actually uh, for two stop. three months. Yeah. So we, the, the situation was not like that, that people could visit at the time. Mm -hmm. And so when we went there, the, actually um, these uh, hoteliers, all of them are giving a discount, offering discount actually. Okay, okay. But if you go now, <coughs> whatever I have uh, heard from the people who have recently visited, some mm -hmm. of my uh, relatives also visited recently, now these uh, places are being crowded uh, by mm -hmm. the uh, travelers, tourists. Yeah. tourists. So yeah. now the expenses are a bit high. Okay, okay. But tourism is like the main source of income for most of those places, right? Himachal, yes. like Kashmir. Yes. Okay. So you do you usually travel with your family or with your friends? Yeah, always with my family. Oh, okay, okay. Very nice. So, um, Subhash, I'm just going to give you like a little bit of uh, feedbacks. Okay. Yes, yes. So, it was very nice talking to you, first of all. Like, uh, like this is like the best session I had today because uh, you were very informative. You spoke very well. As in every question I was asking, you had like elaborate answers. So, that's very nice. It shows like more confidence in your language. Uh, there was no corrections as such that like, you know, um, I have to give you because you were able to like, put in all the words properly and your pace of speaking is very nice like you, you're not in so much hurry uh, there are certain uh, times when uh, you tell the correct word but then you're being doubtful like is this yes, the correct yes, word yes, yeah. yeah there's that pause so like mm -hmm. I think you should like stop uh, doubting yourself and you should just like continue speaking because that was the only thing that I noticed like every time every question was asked you were speaking very confidently but then you were like suddenly yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, this is the right word or not? You're thinking like that, so that is just something that you know you don't you don't have yeah. to do that. You're speaking the right word, that's all. Okay. Apart from that, like you know, it was a really nice conversation. Okay, thank you. And I like most about you your smile. You have a very nice smile. <laughs> thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, I think um, there is very little time left. Any moment yeah, we can, like, uh, yeah. So minutes. if you can share any one or two phrases, if you have, that will only before we get the party. Phrases that I have. Is it? Oh. So um, I mean, like if you're asking for like idioms and things like that, are you asking anything? For anything? What? Oh, okay. Um, uh, like so, I read books like a lot. 
and mm-hmm. i'm also like how you said i watch a lot of netflix series as well so uh, mm-hmm. one of the phrases that i so there's like a small story that mm-hmm. uh, i heard from like one of these uh, movies that i watched and it's something that stuck by me so i hope i can say it to you in one minute so there was this king who goes to like a goldsmith and he tells the goldsmith you have to make a ring for me and whenever i look at that ring if i am very happy it should be able to control help me control my happiness and if it's if i'm feeling bad that if when i look at that ring uh, like you know i should be i should feel better so you should do something in that ring that will help me like control my emotions basically like doesn't like you know let me go overboard and he gave this guy one month time and he leaves and and this goldsmith gives in a lot of thought into it and he actually manages to make a ring and he goes and gives it to the king and the king becomes very happy like that this guy was actually able to fulfill his wish so what was written on that ring is this too shall pass what what was written this too shall pass okay yeah so it's like no matter how happy you are mm-hmm. when you look at that you should remember that this is a fleeting moment and it will go by and if you are like having a very bad day or like if you are emotionally unstable also when you look at that you should remember that this is again like going to pass like it's not permanent so that's oh, like a very yeah. nice story yeah so this too shall pass is a very famous line okay yeah <laughs> i mean I, i'm glad that i got to share it with you okay. yeah. so it was really nice talking to you subhash i'll hopefully see you in another session sometime later okay okay sure okay Then take care so- good night Good night. Bye bye.